Hey all, Coldfire here, and on this episode I'm going to showcase a handful of the many mods creator Andre Aquila, or maybe Andre Aquila, I'm not sure from which country you are, but sorry if I mispronounce your name. So this episode is all about conveyors. Uh, he has a lot of mods that cover a lot of different aspects of the game. But he also has a lot of mods that covers conveyor belts. This video is gonna be split in two parts. The first part is gonna showcase how the mod works and what it adds to the game. And on the second part of the video is a interview with uh, the guy who modeled the 3D models for these mo and many other mods, uh, including renewable power. So make sure to stay until the end of this video because that interview was amazing. Alright, the first one on my list is probably the most useful one. It's Multi Merger, Multi Balancer, Multi Splitter mod. So, this is basically a set of splitters connected by already by conveyors, and they have the advantage of balancing the load automatically. Let me place some items inside here and see how they will be split perfectly by these conveyors check this out this is oh my god why the game doesn't have this feature yet like on vanilla see that all the deposits are getting exactly the same amount of resources this is so 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 beautiful let's see how perfect the split was 20 20 20 20 and 20 so this can create perfect splitters just for comparison check out what would happen if you had used normal splitters for this task right here i have a normal line of splitters and i'm gonna add the same one uh, coal inside and check out what happened it will not flow exactly at the same rate so let's see what the final numbers were. So this one got 10, this one got 13, 17, 24, and 36. And this also depends on the speed of the conveyors, both on the inputs and on the outputs. Let me upgrade this all to Mark 5s so you can have a better understanding of what I mean by that. I'm gonna drop the same 100 here. And now it's splitting two and two, and this is clearly getting way more resources than those there. So everything is set. This one got 50, which is half and half. 50 went the right way and 50 went forward. And then 25 here, 25 there, see? Then 13 here to six there and six here. So this is how Splitter works on the game. They split equally among all the available entrances and with those balancers, you can prevent this behavior. So this is very, very helpful. There's also uh, multi-mergers and multi-balancers. So the balancer is kind of multiple uh, inputs and outputs while the, the merger is a bunch of inputs. And there's also a vertical multi-balancer. Let's check how this works. All right, just spotted a small bug on the visuals on this. I'm gonna let the mods know because this should be the entrance and not the not the output. So that's uh, the textures are reversed here. But whatever, this module has a line of inputs here. Those are inputs, even though they look like outputs, and three lines of uh, outputs. And in theory, it should balance perfectly the load. Let's see how this works. Yes, they are all being split equally perfectly among the, all the outputs. So I would expect uh, every one of these containers have 20 of coal after uh, the filling process. So there you have it. Uh, this is probably the most helpful mod from my list today. And this particular one is called Multi Splitter and Merger. The link for this mod is on the video description. All right, and now let's go into the others. Second one I want to show is the conveyor cover. Let's check first of all the conveyors. So we have, as I said, mark one to five for the covered and uh, covered paintable. So 
what does this do is create a uh, cover for the conveyor. That's pretty much what it is. They are also upgradable and downgradable, so all the functionality is maintained. Uh, and you also have the paintable conveyors, where you can paint the color you want. The aesthetics for those conveyors are really, really well done. They blend in so well with the aesthetics of the game that is unbelievable. So here we have many different types of tiers of conveyors and they have different patterns so you can easily spot which one is which. And the best part of all this is that they are paintable, just like this. Alright, what else do we got from this pack? Something that is that should have been in vanilla game a long, long time ago. That is foundation holes for conveyors. Even though that you can, in theory, clip your conveyor just fine on the normal vanilla game, it doesn't it just doesn't look right. So you can place those holes here and it will be more seamless. And of course there is one for each size of foundation. You have the 4 meters, you have the 2 meters, just name it. They come in two types, like floor hole to downstairs and floor hole to upstairs. The difference is the direction of the output connection. So you can build inputs and outputs. Unfortunately, they all face the different directions like that, so you cannot just rotate this end here. Another really helpful functionality this mod brings is wall conveyor holes. Just like you have the pipe holes already in vanilla, like pipeline well, uh, the pipeline wall hole that you can simply attach to a wall and you can pass a pipe through. This mod introduces the conveyor wall hole. Its functionality is exactly the same, but it will, it will attach a conveyor port here that you can use to pass resources through the walls. Isn't that super cool? This mod list I bring to you today also have ceiling splitters that are so, so, so helpful. For those factories that you want to have a very tight and compact optimization uh, of the space. And that covers pretty much all the conveyor mods from Andre Aquila. And now I leave you guys with the interview with Tom, the 3D modeler for many, many mods of Satisfactory. Check this out. So here I am uh, with Tom, the mastermind behind a lot of mods you see. So, hey Tom, how are you? Hi, uh, I'm alright. Uh, to be fair though, I'm not the only mastermind behind this uh, <laughs> this mod we're talking about today. One of the. F I'm, I'm mostly <laughs> doing the yeah. I'm, I'm mostly doing the 3D modeling part. So you are the 3D guy, right? Uh, apparently, I am the 3D guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So you created the 3D models for those covered conveyor belts, right? Right. So I think the the ones uh, with the, the sleeves from the uh, con like the conveyor lifts, um, those were the previous models that he used for the uh, the mod itself. And those ones. I basically right. told him, well, yeah, right, right. So I told him, well, you know what? I could just make make proper ones for you, so you don't have to reuse existing assets. And that's what happened with the uh, the next ones. The, yeah, those, the painting oh. ones. Those are the ones that I've uh, I've worked on. Yeah. All right. Oh, they're so beautiful. Yeah, I, mean, I think this is the Mark One. Yes. Let me see the others. Oh, they're upgradable. That is a nice touch. I just need some. Yeah, they should plates. be. Uh, they're just basically they're just regular belts, right? They're just uh, reskinned and retextured to uh, get some fancy. Uh, modeling there. So the functionality is exactly the same? Yes, yes. They are basically just belts. Uh, the idea behind it was that they were meant to hide the items and hopefully increase the performance because like in large bases there's too, just too many items just lagging stuff down. And uh, have you guys managed to test if uh, there's any impact on the performance? 
Uh, I have not, no, because funnily enough, I like to make stuff for mods, but I don't actually use mods myself. Um, <laughs> but I've I've spoken to Snoot on Discord, uh, in like the vanilla um, Discord for this game, and he mentioned that the current like, version of the game does not actually um, hide the items. Well, I mean, it hides the items in the sense that like, you can't see them, but the game still renders them behind walls and stuff. Oh. So, unless that gets changed, it doesn't actually do a whole lot for uh, performance, apparently. But it looks kind of cool, so why not, right? <laughs> ah, you're absolutely right. So, if you if you look at the ends of this conveyor belt right here, uh, you'll see that it's actually, like, closed. Yep. Uh, the model itself is just, like, closed off. We're still in the process of actually changing all this stuff. So, it kind of looks like a, like an output connector of a regular machine where it's like black and then just like fading yeah. the item in. Something like that? Kind of like this, yeah. Yeah, oh, exactly. That's so oh, that's nice. So we're redoing all the models to make it more, yeah. Wow. And which uh, software do you use for this? I use Blender because everything else just costs money and I feel <laughs> like, a co I mean, if you're starting out, right? Because I only started modeling a few months ago. Oh, really? And I re At yeah. all? So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I, I mean, like a few years ago, I, I tried my hands at modeling and then I made like a terrible looking Mega Man model. <laughs> and then when this game came out, I was like, well, yeah, stuff looks cool. But most of the mods that people make, um, they like the ideas, you know, so they code all the good stuff, but they don't have the technical, well, they don't have the modeling skill to make fancy looking stuff. So they just reuse assets. And I felt like, well, if you want to make a good mod, like you should also pay attention to the yeah, uh, that's true. The art quality, right? But you, you didn't have any preview experience on that? No, no. I started fresh. Wow. So, I mean, <laughs> which kind of makes it true, the, the saying, well, if, if I can do it, anybody can. So, <laughs> Blender's actually surprisingly easy to learn, I've, I've realized. I am a mechanical engineer myself, so I know 3D yeah. modeling for engineering softwares like uh, SolidWorks, for example, but he never right, did right. something like artistic like this. Yeah, you know, basically all I did was like, I watched a 15 minute tutorial on YouTube <laughs> about some guy making a hammer to get like the basic concepts of modeling um, basically down. And then I just started on my first giant ass model for a um, an oil pump, like something that I wanted to make myself. Wow. So, well, yeah, if you're watching this video and you got interested in doing this for yourself, make sure to join the Discord for satisfactory mods. There's a lot of people that could help you out there, right? Yeah, everybody's super helpful. Like, if you have any questions, just like ask them on the Discord and there's like at least five people just ready to answer questions. Yeah, the community is amazing. So there's a, a new channel on the Discord, it's called Team Up, and uh, I've won I think that's actually where I met Akila uh, for this mod as well. So he basically, I, I posted an ad there saying, well, I can do modeling stuff for you guys if you need to. And then he contacted me via, via DMs on Discord and then, well, this happened. So it definitely works. Yeah, what I've heard from multiple modders is that uh, currently the main bottleneck for them is the 3D models, right? At least for most of them. I think so, though, yeah. For me, it's yeah. For me, it's the opposite, though. <laughs> like I, I completely stuck at coding, so just let me do my uh, 3D stuff, and I'll I'll be happy. I feel like a lot of people can actually still learn this stuff. I mean, I learned it in like 15 minutes, the basics, and all the slightly more advanced concepts. I mean, like all the stuff that I've done here for this the conveyor belt stuff. It's not that complex. You just start out with a cube, and it, you just shape it a bit. Like anything else, people can just learn if you actually put in a little bit of time. I think the stuff that you've seen here from my uh, modeling stuff on this video, uh, you can learn this stuff in like an hour. Like, oh, really? Especially if you get somebody from the Discord to help. Yeah, for sure. If you're watching this and you like have a lot of free time in these times of COVID uh, quarantine stuff and you want to do something useful for community, make sure to try that out. So apparently it's not that hard to do some 3D models and, and it's fun, I guess. It definitely is. All right, I think I uh, got everything I could hope for here. It was better than I was expecting. As you can tell, I'm <laughs> not a native speaker, so sorry for some <laughs> miscommunication. Neither, neither am I, so we're both learning. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, good. that's amazing. Where are you from? I am Dutch. I live Ooh. in Amsterdam. I'm from Brazil. <laughs> that's very nice. 
All right, man. Uh, thanks for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you bye, so bye. much. Bye. And that'll be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more satisfactory content. And I see you next time.